Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Charles Leclerc wins Bahrain Grand Prix as Max. Verstappen suffers late disaster. Summary of headline article. It was a dream day for Ferrari as they led every lap of a race for the first time since the Belgian. Grand Prix in 2018. Hamilton gained a place overtaking the Red Bull of Perez. While Kevin Magnussen had a dream start by maneuvering his Haas up into fifth. He dived up the inside of the Ferrari into turn one but couldn't make it stick as Leclerc came back to reclaim the lead a couple of corners later. Red Bull gambled with 13 laps to go by bringing in both races. Meanwhile, McLaren will hope for better things with both Norris and Ricciardo a long way off the points. From the Sun under the main headline of Sun Double Downs Hammers is Conte's Spurs side move fifth. Summary of headline article. Never mind the RSPCA. Kurt Zoma should be expecting a visit from the league against Cruel Sports any time soon. Because the way Spurs tormented the West Ham defender was nothing short of inhumane. West Ham are surely out of the race for Champions League qualification and will now need to win their Europa League if they want to compete in Europe's top competition next season. That was the 10th own goal Spurs have been gifted this season in all competitions and their 6th in the league. But if they thought that West Ham were simply going to roll over and surrender, they were in for a nasty shock when the visitors reduced the arrears in the 35th minute. From Mail Online under the main headline of Nottingham Forest vs Liverpool FA Cup. Live score and updates. Summary of headline article. Man United are warned that plans to demolish and rebuild Old Trafford could cost up to £1.5 billion. Which would see it leapfrog Tottenham's to make it the most expensive stadium in the country. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Klopp explains Salah. Main and Robertson Liverpool absences. Summary of headline article. Liverpool are without Mohamed Salah and Andy Robertson for their FA Cup quarter-final against Nottingham Fours. With neither of the first-team regulars even making the bench Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has explained why Mohamed Salah and Andy Robertson were missing from the Reds team for their FA Cup meeting with Nottingham Forest. Neither were involved at the city ground. Though with Klopp explaining illness and injury were to blame. Image. AFP via Getty Images. AFP via Getty Images. With Salah and Main absent from the front three. Liverpool handed a start to Harvey Elliott in an advanced role. Trent is out with a hamstring. So will be out for England too. Klopp had earlier said regarding the right back. After the international break. Liverpool will be back in action on April 2nd with a home game against Watford. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of FA Cup semi-final draw in full is Liverpool. Chelsea and Man City learn fate. Summary of headline article. The FA Cup semi-final draw took place before Nottingham Forest and Liverpool's quarter-final tie. With Chelsea. Crystal Palace and Manchester City already in the pot the draw for the FA Cup semi-finals has concluded with Manchester City set to face either Liverpool or Nottingham Forest and Chelsea due to take on Crystal Palace over the weekend of Saturday 16 and Sunday 17 April. Thomas Tuchel's Blues are hoping to fare better on their return to Wembley Stadium having lost their Last two FA Cup semi-finals to Arsenal and Leicester. City joined Chelsea and Palace in the semi-finals with a victory over Southampton later on Sunday. Afternoon. The semi-final draw was conducted by Anfield legend Robbie Fowler, who won the FA Cup in 2001.
ahead of Nottingham Forest and Liverpool's quarterfinal clash at the city ground on Sunday evening. Who will win the FA Cup this season? From the Sun under the main headline of Crystal Palace 4 Everton 0. Patrick Vieira's side beat. Lifeless Toffees. Summary of headline article. Patrick Vieira might wish to start practicing his version of the Alan Pardew Wembley dance this week. Frenchman Vieira has led Crystal Palace to Wembley and an FA Cup semi-final in an excellent first season in charge at Selhurst Park. For Zaha made the result safe on 78 minutes credit. Reuters the Palace defender recovered to slide the ball away with Richarlison tumbling over him and fruitlessly claiming a penalty. It sparked him into life and four minutes later Pickford had to be smart to punch away Michael. Ellis's dangerously surling right wing corner. Richarlison's close range header three minutes later proved just as unthreatening as it was. Gathered by Palace keeper Jack Butland. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Eddie Jones is gaslighting England, and the RFU are just letting him do it. Summary of headline article. Defiant RFU give full backing to Eddie Jones as he tells England fans his team are 3% away. From the Telegraph under the main headline of West Indies vs England. Second test. Day 5. Live score and latest updates. Summary of headline article. England need a glut of quick runs and 10 West Indian wickets on the final day in Barbados as they look to turn a meandering match into a memorable win. After taking 489 deliveries to bowl out the home captain in the first innings, England need to get things done in a rush. Now he needs to come up with another equation and will need to pitch it exactly right. Tempting. But secure. Whatever the result here. The series will be up for grabs and very much alive in Granada next week. A smattering of live grass would be very welcome for the unloved bowlers on both sides but will it happen? From BBC under the main headline of Marquez reassures fans after crash. Summary of headline article. Spain's Marc Marquez has won six MotoGP World Championship Shondas. Marc Marquez says he is OK. Following a 180 km per hour, 112 miles per hour crash which ruled him out of Sunday's Indonesian Grand Prix. I'm OK after the big crash I had this morning, Marquez who also crashed twice during qualifying on Saturday, told fans on social media. KTM's Miguel Oliveira won a shortened race following a delay for heavy rain. It was a really big crash in warm-up this morning. Maybe one of the biggest I have had, said the six-time world champion. I went to the local hospital and while there were no serious problems, it was decided that I should not race. From Metro under the main headline of Man United target Mauricio Pochettino reacts to unacceptable PSG defeat. Summary of headline article. Mauricio Pochettino's Paris Saint-Germain were thumped by Monaco. Picture. Getty. Mauricio Pochettino believes Paris Saint-Germain's Champions League exit has done a lot of damage after his team suffered an unacceptable league defeat to Monaco. French champions elect PSG were beaten 3-0 by Monaco on Sunday. Eleven days after they were knocked out of the Champions League by Real Madrid. Wissam Ben Yedda scored a brace for the hosts and Kevin Volland was also on target as Monaco. Shocked the League One leaders. We can be happy going into halftime at only 1-0 down because they could have had two or three. Marquinhos in action during Paris Saint-Germain's shock defeat. Picture. Getty. We came here to enjoy and win the match. But we're in a difficult patch. Many thanks for watching.
Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.